Hey, uh, have you guys ever been asked a question? Are you in your right mind? Have you ever been asked that? Are you in your right mind? Well, you know, I'm outside right now. Get ready to jump into the ride and roll out and enjoy the night scene and do another form of of car talk. But the question is, are you in your right mind? Does anybody joy ride at night anymore? Does anybody feel like it's nighttime and you just want to get out and enjoy the breeze or whatever? I think it's cool. But again, the question is, are you in your right mind? You might think this question is easy to answer. And it might be, depending on what you think about yourself. But, if, if you don't feel that way, do you feel like, what's up with this car seat thing? If you don't feel that way, or if you do feel that way, I should say, and you think your mind is right, you don't necessarily need another opinion. You just can look at whatever the top things are in your life as progress and use that as a gauge. So, Are you in your right mind? My first thought process to being in your right mind, possibly, now these are the, the top three things for me. You can have your own list. But the first one is your spirituality. It's number one, it's the top of the list. Spirituality, do you have your spirituality? And if your answer is yes, and you think spirituality is a top component for you, then you are on the right path for yourself. And whatever your number one is, is whatever your number one is. My number one is spirituality. So I'm a firm believer in the Bible, reading the Bible, believing in the Bible, learning things from the Bible because unlike anything I've ever seen anybody else go through the Bible is not necessarily a friend of man's even though man might think it is the Bible is not it doesn't have a whole lot of love for mankind and that's just my interpretation it, it just doesn't love man like that Spirituality. So digging into the onion pages and learning things about scripture is the only thing that's going to save you or save me. So what do I do? Because I'm thankful for my two kids, because I'm thankful for my family, uh, that we all are still friends, are still in the land of the living, and still have breath yet in our lungs. That's number one, to find out if... I am enclosed in my right mind since I was told, perhaps, that I might be out of my mind. Maybe it's the visions that I have that look a little bit bizarre that make me appear to be more, I guess, uh, I guess dangerous, you know, almost like them not 
probably a little nervous, I guess. Almost like them possibly being nervous with Snoop doing Joker's Wild on TV or back when Red Fox was, you know, they wanted him to play Sanford and Son on TV. Nervous like that. So maybe, you know, Motel Grattan or Maurice Goodwin being on there is the same way them being nervous about what I might do. <laughs> so spirituality is that first day. Um, and I, I keep saying that's the most important one now. Number two, which still has a significant value, and now we're inside of Earth for number two, which is financial money. Money is the next highest thing, and the only reason why it trumps some things is because of the value that it has in getting A, B, and C done. You need it to be successful uh, in this world, at least in this United States of America. You need it. If you are fortunate enough to be blessed with family members, parents, uncles, aunties, or whatever, that are that have an abundance of it, then maybe you personally don't have to have it because you reap the benefits and I love you. So the question becomes for number two, are you out of your mind? Talking about money is number two. As if money is not something that was used in the slave trades. As, as if money was not used to cheat people out of their resources. As if money was not used to get people personal satisfaction. I know for a fact. I know for a fact having money causes a lot of people to respect the person that has the money. Well, not me. I don't care about somebody that got money. That don't matter. <laughs> All right. My question to those people that are always rebellious about everything you say, they pick the other side. Are you out of your mind? Uh, number three is health. Physical health. You need to physically be healthy, which means if you are in a position where you are enjoying the finer perks of having vision, hearing, smelling, seeing. Uh, if you have been blessed without having any forms of disabilities, any, uh, I guess, negative dialects or and that's not pointing out anything in particular that's just saying that you're against the eight ball or you're against the way the flow of things go it might be an issue from a health standpoint you know we can participate in the sipping department and the chiefing department and sometimes we can suffer broken bones and things from activity whether it's sports or some type of a nightclub event that went bad but nonetheless to make a very long story short health so what do we have here we got spirituality money and health spirituality money and health now if you have spirituality there go them boys over there Got some mighty hemmed up, as you can see. Man, they're pretty notorious. They, they'll get you. Love's going to get you. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shout out to Kara's one for Love's going to get you. Boogie Down Productions, Productions will always get paid, paid, paid. We'll take the wacky song and make them better. Remember to let us into your skin. Because once we begin, we're bribing my ball. Oh, anyway, so this has been another session of me rolling at night, 
Rollins. Rollin, 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 raw high. So we got our little lesson again for tonight. I did my teaching, so I'm cool, right? I mean, maybe the Spirit of God will bless me. I did my teaching. You know, this is my prophetic part, my prophecy part, stage. This is the category that it's going to go into me doing my, uh, you know, my car communication stuff. So this is part two of that. And this one is definitely, are you out of your mind? So, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this evening, and you do the same.